بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب تب الله We understand that some of our brothers and sisters they tire of speaking about Tawheed they feel they've studied enough about Tawheed about the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it seems as if it should be a very simple concept and some aspects of Tawheed are very simple and we understand bi'idhnillah the rububiya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one is the Lord of all things He created us He provides for us He sustains us He is Al Khalik He is Al Razak Al Razak He is the one who plans He is Al Rahman the most merciful Al Rahim the most beneficent So we understand these concepts and we understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the uluhi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he's the only one worthy of worship that along with those divine ways in which we describe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or along with his ability him being the Lord of all things him being the creator of all things him being the provider of all things that it necessitates that we must worship him and him alone so that's our Tawheed al-Ibadah or our Tawheed al uluhiyah and we understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divine names and attributes Tabarak wa ta'ala and that those divine names and attributes are unique to him subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and we worship him by those names and attributes. We supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking for his guidance, asking for his forgiveness, begging his forgiveness, asking for provisions and sustenance and protection for our families and our friends and the believers in general and guidance for the non-believers, uh, the disbelievers. We have to give Tawheed its precedence, even though we understand these things, bi Allah. That we have to begin our call with Tawheed, our Dawah. And we have to understand that Tawheed is the assass of Islam. So we should never belittle that call to Tawheed. We should never play in life with that call to Tawheed. The call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The call to worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. We shouldn't play with those things. But we should realize and give it its importance because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنُ وَالْإِنْتِلَ لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind in jinn except for the purpose of worshiping. So all of this was created for the purpose of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I marvel at this beauty at this coldness which I'm ill prepared for but I'm still in awe it's so beautiful here the air is so beautiful it's so cold but it's also beautiful and it's wet but it's beautiful Alhamdulillah. and all of this was created for us to reflect on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remember him and to worship him. وَقَالَ تَبَارَكُ وَتَعَالَى فِي كِتَابِ الْكِرِيمِ وَاعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا And worship Allah alone and do not associate partners with him. Do not associate any partners with him. Again, that's Tawheed and Allah emphasized Tawheed. So he gave it as our divine purpose. That's why we can't belittle it as a form of da'wah. And that we have to realize that all those other aspects that these groups and manahij that they call to, it all comes back to Tawheed. You don't call to Jihad fi for the sake of, of fighting. But rather, that is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's a part of Tawheed. It's to actualize Tawheed. 
and you don't say that we only do acts of Hajj, but just for the sake of doing the rituals and the rites. La. It's for Tawheed. It's a part of Tawheed. It's for the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. We fulfill those rites. We pray in the way that we do to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And that's a part of that ayat. Wa'budullahu wa la tushriku bi shayim. Worship Allah alone and do not associate partners with Him. That's why we do that. And we make da'wah bi'idnillah, not for popularity, not for all the other, for entertainment, but we do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa'budullaha wa la tushriku bi shayim bi'idnillah ya rabb accept our good and forgive our evil. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. And that goes to the two conditions for our ibadah, which we have to mention, is that first is that ikhlas, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we do it, actualize in Tawheed, that we worship Allah alone. We pray to Allah alone, we make hajj for Allah alone, we make da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as our Shaykh used to say, Shaykh Mukbil bin Hadi al Wadi, Allah yarhamuhu, uh, Dawa to Ahlu Sunnah, Dawa to Ila Kitabillah, Min Kitabillah, Wa Ila Sunnati Rasulillah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Min Sunnati Rasulillah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That the Dawa of Ahlu Sunnah is calling from the Book of Allah to the Book of Allah, which is the speech of Allah. And from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam letting us know that what? It's about worshiping Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and in that, in that statement contains both of the conditions for our ibadah that it is sincerity to Allah ikhlas lillah that it's to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala alone even our da'wah and that it's in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that is where the second pillar of ibadah, what are the two pillars of ibadah? The two conditions uh, of, of worship, they are that you have sincerity to Allah, ikhlas, and that you do it in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So the da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah and the da'wah to Tawheed is not something that should be taken lightly, but it's a duty of those who have the ability and who have the ilm to call to that. And it's a duty, anyone who's calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making da'wah, they have to realize they have to follow, follow these conditions. It doesn't matter whether, whatever jama'at uh, jama that you want to, that you consider yourself a part of, you have to meet those conditions. It has to be in accordance with the Qur'an and the Sunnah. And it has to be based on ikhlas lillah, tawheed. And in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu that you're making da'wah not to make your jama'at bigger. You're making da'wah not to make you bigger. You're making da'wah not to make your group bigger. You're making da'wah not to make your gang bigger. But you're making da'wah to worship Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala alone. To make ta'zeem of Allah. To fulfill your duty to Allah Azza wa Jal. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And bless us with ikhlas, with the bad. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم